try to do something, a whole lot of it, right? Mm. Let's take a look. Okay. How, how was your timing on these essays? Could you do the task two in about 40 minutes and the task one in about 20 minutes? Uh, yes, but sometimes mm, maybe I need 50 minutes to write the task two. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, so let's take a look. So, yeah, this is a good topic. So common, this is a real one from the test. This is a real topic, so that's good. Nowadays, there's increasing number. Yeah, so this increasing number of nowadays is good. This is a good phrase to start a lot of a lot of essays. Uh, uh, the it's always the general public. When we talk about general public, it's always the general. The general public, but it's a good phrase. Instead of just saying people, you could say the general public or the general citizenry. Sometimes, like if it's about health, it could be like for the public good. Um, yeah, but that's good. The, just remember the, the, the general public, the general citizenry, believe that watching live entertainment is. Um, it's not really about more popularity. This one is more enjoyable, right? So if you can't really change, be careful about changing it. If it's like popular and enjoyable, they're similar, but not the same, right? Is more enjoyable. If you can't change it, just keep it the same. Yeah? Or you mm. can, it like leads to more enjoyment. Sometimes you can't change the word enjoyable, an adjective, but you could use the noun, which is enjoyable. Or you could just keep it the same, more enjoyable than watching. Yeah. Um, yeah. Same entertainment. Same. Same television. Compared to broadcast. Yeah. That would be television. I would contend. Say I would contend. I can contend. It's okay that live shows. Yeah. Instead of have, you can say offer, present. Unique, uh, yeah, unique attractions, unique qualities, attractions is okay, who developing, yeah, so that's good, so this is good accuracy, good accuracy overall, you can see there's still like little mistakes, but it's also very like high level, high level vocabulary, grammar, so this is like right in that range that you're looking for, you know, like around, 6.5 is like task achievement or like seven vocab around seven maybe grammar is a little bit lower cohesion coherence again also around seven so then it's like get you in that 6.5 range so that's good when it's got that complexity but it's also mostly accurate um, be careful with your collocations right like attraction qualities you could just say like more unique or more, more attractive mood elevating functions that's okay but just be careful sometimes if you translate Remember we said before, if you translate a collocation from Chinese, it'll always be wrong. So if you don't translate collocation from Chinese, just use just use the English okay. Okay. Yep, to say you can say claim is maybe a little more academic. Provide a more immersive, enjoyable atmosphere. Yep, four balls. Okay. Yep, sounds good. Clear main idea, simple topic sentence, and it's the idea that they're more immersive. We already did mention it. it is easier for them to forget. Yeah. Anxieties, anxieties, worries, lies temporarily, and immerse themselves into a Magnificent might be a little bit too strong. You can say like imaginary part. Okay. Enjoy these lectures a little hard. Yeah, that's good. To careful with some of the vocab, that's good. What's more is a little bit too informal, so you can say more over. Also be careful about overusing some linking phrases. 
So you can see like moreover, however, nonetheless, to be more specific as a result. When you use too many linking phrases like that, it sounds too, too mechanical. Too many linking phrases to start sentences. Like that can bring your, your CC score down to a, to a six. There's too many of them. Even if they're correct, just because you're using too many, it sounds too mechanical. So that can bring that score down. Or there is also research. Yeah. Again, for this one, you don't even really need it. You can say research. If it's just the same idea, research has suggested that, that just by participating in concert for 20 minutes, yeah. Increase instead of hour, you can use there. 12 feet. It's a little bit strange. Yeah, increase their well being. Well being is a little bit vague, so it's probably maybe better to say like their relative feelings of happiness, oh. satisfaction. But otherwise, otherwise well being is a little bit too vague. Like, how would a researcher know that their well being is better? Uh, yeah. However, Such again, you don't need all these linking phrases. Single, such distinctive experiences and not by digital media, such as laptops and televisions. Yes, yeah, so that's good. Good, well developed, very clear. So, like, no wasted sentences. Clear development. It's mostly high level. Less. An array of interactions, a little bit strange. So, again, remember anything translated for the word. So let's see. Yeah. So this one you were talking about offline, it's online. Make it a little bit clearer. This is on the side of like um, patients. Oh. It's a little bit clearer. To be more specific, when you can say one watching or when one is watching, one is, as opposed to no, no we or our. It's a little bit, a little informal. Watching a competitive program. It's football. Singing competition. Some televisions, people, viewers. So viewers or audiences to be to predict this be your judge. Come down on all the linking phrases. You have one or two, it's okay, but like when you start too many sentences with them, it sounds too mechanical. Oh. 
all the attendants at the same time. So, keep it your home, keep it your spelling, but you must. The overall experience. So, again, good example. This paragraph may be a little bit short, but good example. Yeah, clear development, logical. Best way to immerse yourself. Experience. Experiences. Technology. Better experience. By the way. You want to start while, if you're using while, then you need the other half of the sentence. While this one, you know, you need the verb here. While, the, while there have been advances, watching programs on television is still important. Something like that. So just be careful with your subordinate grammar. You need the whole half of the sentence. While some think this, others think, others think this. So you need like a full verb. Over phrase. Yeah, so definitely for your task achievement, you definitely get a seven for that. You've got a clear opinion, good support, good examples. It could be a little bit longer in some parts, a little bit more specific, but still good overall. Cohesion coherence. Again, be careful about like overusing the linking words. Besides that, it's logical and clear. Um, for vocabulary, there's a lot of good high-level ones. Be careful about uh, using Chinese translations of collocations or words. Um, and then for grammar, maybe like a little bit weaker. There's like lots of little mistakes. There's good complexity. So overall, you can get a 6.5 for that one. Any questions about that one? Uh, but sometimes if I I uh, I don't use the some linking phrases, and I don't know what to write next, and um, on this overuse of the this linking phrases, uh how to solve so, this problem sometimes you can you can say that you can write the word you can think the word to help you think of what to say next but then you don't always need to use it right so sometimes you can just delete it you know like this one for instance you're just adding research that, that adds to this idea so you don't need to say what's more you can just say like research has shown this you know um so that's one way to do it just like delete it get rid of it even if you need to like write it or think of it in your head to help you think of the idea when you actually write, you don't need to use it. We can go back and delete it so it doesn't sound mechanical. The other thing that you can use is to use like more substitution, right? So like, um, for instance, here, there are a number of interactive applications, those watching at home. Instead of saying to be more specific, you know, these, you can say like these applications include, and then you can use, instead of using a linking phrase, you use this, these, and then you use substitution, you use like plus, like this development, or this idea, or the word from the last sentence, right? Like these applications allow people to do this or that, um, this development, something like that. So this is called using substitution, and it'll link your sentences together a little bit more naturally. Okay. Mm. okay. Take a look at the next one. Okay. Yeah, so this one's about the bar chart. The bar chart demonstrates the employment rate. Uh, 
So the bad track sound is both sexes between 16 and 12. In USA, so it's that. Yeah, it's a good, accurate, accurate paraphrase on top of it. That women were You can just say like for a less, for less instead of like less advantaged employment situation, it's a little bit that phrase is a little bit strange. You can say we're less likely to be employed. It's almost getting like close to like opinion or something, right? So like avoid opinion or anything like that. Just say like just be like be objective, right? They were less likely to have jobs and that in these two years. Yeah. Yep, that's good. Yeah, it's a good overview. It does include everything. Overview includes all areas. Um, the only thing is, you do want to say like, if there's any. That's kind of like an overall ranking. You still want to have some amount of trends, like the fact that employment numbers in all countries declined, right? I think for all areas, pretty much, you know, all. All centers. You need to also have like the full trend, right? If everything decreased. Okay. So you need the full trend for all, right? Everything. This one's pretty simple because I think everything decreased. I don't think anything. It looks like everything went down. It increased. So it's like a simple trend, but you still need to include this. And if you don't, if you don't have this, it'll limit your task achievement score. Right? So the overview is really important. So your task achievement would limit to like a five because there's no no clear trend in the overview. So you really need to do with respect to the United States in 1970, competitive put rate of females. Small gap between the two sets of these categories in, in this year. It's good, maybe this is when you can mention like the difference, like how it changed, right? Mm. Is it so that you don't have to mention the US again? Because then you don't mention, don't mention the US again. So it's kind of missing some data, right? Um, mm. yeah. By 2000, this gap had widened. So that's also going to hurt your task achievement a little bit, is because it's like missing, missing some data that can bring it down. And once you mention the U.S., it makes sense then to like mention how it changed, right? So you don't have to mention the U.S. again in another paragraph. What the difference? Again, with while, if you say while this, then you need comma something else, right? So if you don't have that, so be careful using while. You might want to like review line grammar exercises about how to use while. To use the mistake with that one in the last but differences. Careful with your punctuation. I'm bringing it to grammar score. 
Yeah, there's also a little bit confused. You said the other three countries, but then you just mentioned two countries data here. Oh. You probably mentioned, mentioned the third country as well. Well, so it's missing a lot of data. That I showed, you could say experienced, using. Underwent, displayed, registered, recorded, lost. Female employment, female. Descended is okay. We just need to find. Well, that's good. But you haven't mentioned like Japan before in nineteen seventies. So there's some missing data and everything. Yeah. So yeah, it's just missing some data. Well, her cohesion currents is okay. Uh, it makes sense. It's logical. You know, so it could be six, maybe seven as well. Uh, it's a few little mistakes. Sentences like while grammar, same thing. It's like there's some good accuracy at times some good complexity so yeah six maybe seven and then vocabulary is probably good enough for seven there's like not many mistakes yeah, not too much i love the language though so the overview is the thing that could bring you down you know like for example if you got like five six 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 then that could bring you down to like five five and then if your grammar score is up then it could be like five, six, six, seven, and it would still keep you at a set, a six, even though um, you missed the overview. The overview makes a big difference, right? The overview and the data. So just be careful about overview plus data. And you guys sent you some information before about how to write your overview and everything. But the key thing is like the full trend, right? Everything did, every category, did it go up or down or stay the same? This one's like luckily very easy, but you can see that the trend for all countries is that all of them like went down, right? Compared to the percentages here, everything is like decreased for all the countries. Yeah. So it's like it's a very simple trend, right? Everything went down, but you need to say you need the full trend to go up or down or stay the same. It has to be for all countries. Luckily, it's easy to just write a simple sentence for this one that says you know, employment. Both genders, all countries declined for the period in question. So it's simple to write that sentence. Any questions about this one? Uh, every time when I write the task one, I need to write uh, both the all categories and uh, the overall trend, right? If the if it shows time, so this one shows time, right? Nineteen seventy. So it has it has a trend because it shows time. Some graphs will like just show a year, and it won't have like time like the other. See the other task one, you know, it's a map. It's different. Uh, like for example, this one, this one does not show time. Right, there's no time. It's just like right now. So this one has no trend. So it's just comparison. But if it shows time, yeah, and the time one, you know, like a line chart. This one always shows time, right? Um, yeah. So like except for these countries. These ones rose, right? So that's the full trend. Yes, that's good. Okay. No yeah. question. Let's take a look at the next one then. Okay. Yes, it's a good, good recent topic. Recently. Um, 
you can say like pay attention to or maybe it's like better to say emphasize prioritize prioritize is a good verb you can use for a lot of topics positive uh, effects of the social part well others yeah so this is the correct way to use while Others focus on perceived drawbacks. Yep. Good high level, high level uh, vocab. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as I'm concerned, although competition is a priority. You can say. Sometimes it is wiser to make cooperation regarded as an indication. Yeah. Say like, oh, civilized. Yep. So that's good. Clear opinion. So make sure that you always do that. A clear, clear opinion. When you to choose one side overall, but write about both sides. So that's good. Review with this. On the one hand, those who argue contests and bring, instead of bring, you can say your gender. Okay. Result. Instead of more, you can say greater. It's a little more academic. Benefits to society so again if you say those who argue so instead of saying those who argue then you have to have like a little verb right? so like Point out. Then you need something here. Petitions. Or so if you want to make that a little bit, it's a little bit complicated, but you need this like point out. Those who argue this, then you need another verb that says they say this. And those who argue contest point out this. You know, if you want to simplify it, you can just say like. Many argue that competi competition serves competition. This one is the, the thing that makes this topic a little bit tricky is like the fact that it's at work, at school, and in daily life. It's like a lot of different things to talk about. It's very general, so it's hard to talk about all of those things, but it's okay. You can kind of narrow it and focus on one. Okay. You focus on. Okay. Mm. For example, yeah, so there's a lot of issues with this sentence in terms of like the vocab. So, again, it was like we said before, you know, like anything translated, Chinese won't be quite right. So, Instance in so in the field of architecture, architectural design in China. Conflict between different employees, multinational companies. Again, like things like ideological collisions. So this is like a Chinese allocation, right? But then you like translate to English and then in English, different word. Right? We don't say this in English. And that will be true for every single collocation in English, right? So every single allocation, when you have two or three or four words together, Chinese is wrong. 
papers. Put that. So it's like basically 100% of the time. You can always be, be careful about that. You just need to use like actual English allocations. Yeah, you can say like serve as a can lead to or can serve as a catalyst can, or just simply can result in standing. If you can say think about standing. It's Again, like picky customers is a little bit informal, win the favor is a little bit strange, roughly flawless. Again, it's like translate from Chinese. Just be careful about mm. this. Like don't don't translate collocation into Chinese. If you're not sure, just use like one. If you don't know the collocation in English, then just like use like one simple English word instead. Okay. And not like the Chinese word. Again, careful sometimes with like the overuse on the one hand, for instance, addition. You can just get rid of like a one hand, you know, those are more addition. Yeah, so again, all of it, that sentence has like too many words that are like from Chinese, so it can't be understood at all. So this will hurt, it hurts like all parts of your, your, your task achievement, your CC a lot because it's unclear, your vocab. I think what you mean is feel. The petition. Like a competition. Of ideas. Yeah, so this sense is good. This one's more clear, good vocab, makes sense. It's good sometimes if when you start your example, as opposed to like running away from your example, you can kind of continue, continue with your example. So as opposed to just writing a one sentence example, like stick to your example the longer. You know, like don't don't run away from it as soon as you write it. You know, better to like continue with that example, add more to it. So you could talk more about like the architectural industry in China, like the workers at a company, what it could lead to. As opposed to like kind of be general after changing your idea. Yeah, yeah that phrase is okay. I would argue. I agree that there is greater value. Yeah, good phrase. A, you can say like a collaborative. Example, children in kindergarten start. Use present simple because this is like a habit, like all it's like a habit or a fact, all children do this. Okay. Various assignments. Opposites, like minded individuals. Oh. 
pie chart and efficient. It's a little bit more concise in addition. Again, try to cut down sometimes on these, not only are they more likely. Assignments and expertise, but develop personal. So this goes in process. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so good. This one's better because you kind of like develop it for a long time, right? You develop this example. Long time, a whole paragraph. So that's good. Great. That means it's like really well, really well developed. Hence competition. It's become yeah, normal or you can say the norm studies. Collaboration still plays. It is still a vital. That's a phrase we use, is still a vital importance there. Companies, instead of we, don't use we or are, must embrace, seek, yeah, say like foster, foster, cooperative environment. Yeah, so good with your task achievement on this one again. The only thing is, it does, it's good if you meant, because you just talked about work, right? Uh, you talk about school a little bit, daily life, not so much. If you mention that a little bit, it could help. But still, it's okay. Still good enough for a seven, I think. Cohesion, coherence, same thing, pretty good. Same issue about like reduce uh, linking phrases. Start so many sentences. I guess to get a little too mechanical. Sometimes it's okay. Not too many. Vocabulary is good again. But it's probably a little bit weaker. It's some of those is like the Chinese collocation. If you translate it into English, then that brings it down a little bit. Grammar, that was good. Little mistakes, could be a seven as well. So if you're like unlucky, you might end up like with seven, six, 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 and it gets to a six on the wall. So just really be careful about your vocab, especially. So be careful about collocations, because that could bring your vocab support down seven to a six but then it also hurts your cohesion coherence because like for example with a sentence like this one where it's a lot of chinese collocations and you can't really understand the meaning so then that brings down cohesion coherence as well any questions mm. about this one uh maybe you have no questions but i think the um this collocations that translated from chinese is a very important problem <laughs> yeah yeah so it's well because it's a, some things are easier to fix and some are a lot are harder to fix because to learn all those collocations in english would take a long time right so then sometimes mm. you you just translate some from from chinese to kind of like save some time or you think it'll work but i think the point is like they will never work right so they'll always be wrong and they, and they can make it very confusing so if you're not sh if it's it's not a, like it's not even a doubt right there's no question so it's like if if you know you know the english collocation you know the english collocations then you can use that right so for example you say like vital importance right like that's an english one you can use that right um cooperative mm -hmm. environment that one you know you can use it. social skills when you know those ones you can use that but if you have a if you don't know the english one so if you if you have a a Chinese one you want to use, never use it. It's like always wrong, right? So it's like it's like you'll know 100% it's wrong. So instead, so you, maybe you don't know a good English collocation, you know the Chinese one, don't use the Chinese one. Instead, just use some like simple English, like not a collocation, just like some simple words to make your meaning clear. So like never use the translated collocation. 
I think sometimes you use it when you don't know these ones, but just like never use it. And if you don't know the Chinese, the, the English one, then just use some like simple English, some simple words to make your meaning clear. Because that's much better, even if it's like not high level vocabulary, at least it's not hurting your cohesion coherence. It's not hurting your task achievement because then your ideas are still clear. Your logic is still clear. Because when you do this one, it hurts vocab, but it also hurts um, cohesion coherence and task achievement. So this one like hurts, hurts three scores a lot, right? So you could bring them down from a seven to a six easily. Okay. okay. Take a look at the next one. Yeah, you can say the map. Lane's details of fourth arm. We can say bygone days, you can say, you can just say in the past. Mm -hmm. Old fashioned it changes to human face company. Or changes that have taken place. So you can use present, present perfect for the past up until now. It's really apparent that the are more accessible. Or it. So instead of what you say, additional facilities, cafe shops. Yeah, so this is a good overview. You kind of like grouped all the big changes together. Big changes together. Even describe them as being like more accessible, more recreational. Right. So that's definitely a band seven to nine overview. As long as you can write a good overview, I think maps are actually easier to write about than charts. Mm. Single dot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you just say like today, each is a change. Yeah. More you can say additional dot oh, inside. Say so adjacent to the left part of self. As it changed positions. Exchange positions. If you've already used present perfect, then you don't need to say no. But be careful with the grammar. So, present perfect grammar from the past. A change that was made like an unclear time in the past up until now. So for usually for these types of ones, for maps that are in the past and now, you want to use present perfect and present simple. You could also use like past simple sometimes, like there was something in the past, but now those are the three tenses. Again, have been constructed. So present perfect. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, again, really good grammar vocab. It's low. Or part, you can say section or half of the harbor. Yeah, uh, a couple things maybe you just a little bit like the lifeboat next to the cafe and shops. Oh, you miss an existing lifeboat each. Maybe you also looked at my safe a little bit to get some ideas, I think. Right? But it's good. Task achievements, definitely good. Definitely get seven for this one because it's a really good overview. You can see the overview makes a big difference to describe everything. Cohesion coherence is very clear in this one. Yeah. Vocab, same thing. The only thing grammar might might drop a little bit lower just because you can't 
can't really use can't use present perfect so we'll go so I'd be able to use that that tense to help for this type of chart so it might be overall I might drop to like a 6.5 because of that so now we're a 7, 7, 6. No, 6. but it still could be could be a 7 it's just like a little mistake with the lack of it's still okay any questions about this one? Uh, no. Let's take the next one. Yep. Good, simple, simple, clear intro. If you're worried about time, you can just make the intro short and clear and focus on these ones. That's good. Instead of some, you can use a legitimate or certain or specific potential dangers. Yeah, so this is way too long, right? You can see, like, So you want a short and simple topic sentence, right? Sim mm. Simple topic sentence. Good, good. Main idea. Yeah, so again, it's a little bit wordy, just... Yeah, so it's okay. I think it's a little bit too much. Like maybe it's better if you could like develop develop one example fully, opposed to like jumping but kind of saying the same thing. You know, so like if uh if you use a hypothetical, if a user goes online, or you could talk like about a specific fraud that happened in China or something like a specific case of fraud in China. So they try to focus it. You know, it needs to be like focused on on one idea, develop fully as opposed to kind of like it jumps around a little bit too much. Storage. Organization. So try to Try to like again simple simple topic sentence with your main ideas.
yeah, so this one's a little bit better. More specific example, more detail like that. So that's really good. Specific example. Yeah, you could talk a little bit more about how, like, having your information saved online, your information, it's like your banking information, you know, like your shopping cart, and how that makes it more convenient, and then it makes it more convenient for the company as well to advertise to you, advertise relevant products to you, relevance to what you're thinking of, uh, relevant products. Yeah, so that's a better example. So that's good. Uh, Um, yeah, so you're saying that the perceived drop, so you want to make it clear, although the negative should not be ignored, more significant, make it clear again, make your opinion clear, more significant, X. access. Governance to increase regulation. Yep, that's good. Again, similar scores the last time, probably right around like that 6.5 range. Good development. Uh, your ideas make sense. Let's take a look at the next one. You don't have too much time. Demonstrate so information. Yeah, demonstrate the detail or illustrate. Don't use the slides. These are not proper nouns, right? Even though on the chart they have they're capitalized, they're not proper nouns. Uh, you can say accept. I think this could be better. This part here could be better. It's it's the fact that for those young people are more interested in ballet, young people ballet, whereas tap and modern more popular with older students. So that the overview um, could be better there. It was sometimes with your punctuation as well, spaces. Yeah, so good, good detail of the information. The only issue, again, could be the overview. You know, like, it's okay. I think it's probably good enough for, like, a six, but it could be, like, a little bit better. Better overview, this could be, like, a band seven or even, like, a band eight. Um, but everything else is good for this one. You know, cohesion, coherence, seven, vocab, get to a seven. Grammar, 
maybe a six or a seven, a few more mistakes, but still, still good. Definitely six, six point five, even band seven, possibly. Take a look at these overviews. That, yeah, you can say the UK population variants just fine. With all other countries, you can have the full trend here increasing overall. Now, only the UK went down; everything else increased overall. Mm. So again, you don't need to say like fluctuations; it's not really important. Yeah. In this one, it already said everything increased. You can just keep it two sentences there. Um, oh. Yeah, and post data. Reached. Yeah, that's okay. It's fine. Um, I think it'd be probably better to say that, like, by the end, Asia became the most populous, right? It's about percentage of people or something like that. You know, I think it's better to say, like, the overall, like, the ranking, which one became the biggest, you know, like, by the end, by the end, Asia had become the largest of them. Asia. Maybe that's better to mention, but still, it's still good enough. Still good. You have the full trends, and that's good. In terms of this one, continue uh, to. More senior citizens. Yeah, so I think you're just trying to say that, like, the, it's, yeah, it's really apparent that the number of senior citizens have been growing since 1980 and will continue this trend in the future. These ones are hard because they show the past and the future. Future publishers. Given years. Elder. Yeah, it's not really. They're not the same into that in that one year. It's not really important, right? Yeah, you can just say this one. These ones are higher, so we know those ones are lower. That's okay. You don't need that much detail. It's okay. Yeah. But yeah, the, these ones are tricky because it shows the past and the future. Uh, yeah, we got more. Variety. Yes, good. Yeah, so this is a really good overview. Definitely band seven to nine overview. Yeah, you grouped everything together. I know that one, yeah. Grouped everything mm. together, described it. So, yeah, I think maps are kind of easy if you get those. You're kind of lucky to get them. Yes. Yeah, good. So the overviews there are much better, I think. Yeah. And it, well, actually, your overviews are fine for most of the essays. Just the first one, there was a mistake. Besides that, it's good. Yeah, so I think most of your essays are definitely like around that band 6.5 score. Um, it might mm. depend a lot on luck as well. Like if you get an easy task, if you get an easy task one and easy task two on the test, then you could do well. But if you get a harder one, that could hurt your score, you know? So mm. luck is a big factor. Any questions in general? Uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, if I could, if I couldn't engage 6.5, I will have the L take them again, <laughs> and please. And I think I should, I must get a higher grade than this exercise and maybe uh, try to discover some potential in the test. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah, 
Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll send you that document now on WeChat so that you have it. And yeah, mm -hmm. if you have any other questions, you can always send me a message on WeChat, okay? Okay, thank you. No problem. Good luck with your practice and good luck on the real test as well. Mm. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.